weather. A few locally heavy downpours here at 1019 in the evening over West Alabama. Some thunderstorms are developing over into Mississippi, but right now we don't have thunderstorms. We just have some heavy rain right here on Hagler Colding Road and uh, Big Sandy Springs Road in Tuscaloosa County. This is moving up toward the north away from Duncanville and in the direction of Coling in the Tuscaloosa rest area, Mercedes plant, Vance area, Wire Road. Uh, over toward the Tingle Tangle Road as well. Scattered showers and uh, locally heavy rain here around the Zion and Palmetto communities in northeastern Pickens County. That's headed toward Newtonville and Fayette. And then we have some heavier thunderstorms that are developing in North Mississippi. No severe weather here, just some loud thunder that'll likely move into parts of Lamar and Marion counties after midnight. And we'll likely start to see some thunder uh, within some of these downpours across the central part of the state here just over the next couple of hours. See how the radar is gradually starting to fill in here. This is one of those nights where we're going to get some rain in most communities, but the good rain is only going to happen for some of us. And I think it's mainly north of Jefferson County. So Tuscaloosa, Jefferson, St. Clair, Etowah counties northwest. A good chance of rain overnight. Shelby and Bibb, Chilton, Talladega County southward. Not as good a chance of rain through the overnight hours, but still some showers are possible. We're thinking more along the lines of a fraction of an inch, if anything, in Shelby and Chilton counties. But you get up here toward Cullman and Jasper, you see 1.5, 3.4. Those are impressive numbers. 1.2 at Rainsville, 1.2 at Huntsville. Here's the deal, though. We're going to have an area where scattered thunderstorms develop here. There may be some spotty areas when you think about it in terms of looking down on the map where we could have more than one or two inches of rain. I just don't think that's going to happen for the majority of us. But here's how the simulated radar looks based on some of our computer guidance. I think it's doing a good job with the position here. It probably isn't quite as heavy as it looks here on the map, though. Scattered showers tapering off about the time the morning rush gets going tomorrow. Then we're going to break back out into the sunshine tomorrow afternoon. See the wind turn around toward the northwest and it doesn't get as warm. The high at 80 showers are ending early in the day. But then look at this Wednesday 87 Thursday. We're up to 87. We might even have a spot or two in Bibb or Tuscaloosa, Hale or Green counties that touch 90 degrees on Thursday afternoon. And then we get back into a very May like scattered shower and thunderstorm pattern. No severe weather expected around here, but the hit or miss storms are coming back for the weekend. I had a great game tonight. I was at yeah finals. It was playoff time for girls soccer mm -hmm. went into a shootout. Nice. Stavia taking on Spain Park, Spain Park, the number one team in the country, Jason. We have highlights of this penalty shootout coming up next in sports.